the issue in Ivory Coast, wherein there was a civ almost a civil war. President Gbagbo was the president of the country, attacked by the rebels, as they were called, led by Watara, who is now the president. Because the matter has been a problem for a long time, even if the situation was not that conducive for elections, it was agreed that the elections should take place so that they could help uh, come to a point where that problem is resolved. <clears throat> so the elections took place, and the conclusions or the outcome of the elections, very controversial. Now, once that was happened, and, 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 and there was a lot of interference, and we, the, the AU even appointed a high-level committee, which we belonged as a country. Once the elections were over, Watara was then made the president. Now, there has been a civil war. Watara was attacking a government. Now, to be arrested for the deaths of people in the war, <clears throat> only Bagbo was arrested and taken to the ICC. Up to this day, they have not been able to try him. But right. they don't have evidence. That's not the only one. There are many cases like that in Africa. But Africa says, if this court, the international court, is to look at justice, why was the United States not, a signature. not taken into task when they said, when they made an allegation, there was weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, and therefore attacked the country, arrested the president, tried him, convicted him, sentenced him to death and hanged him. And later they say, in fact, there is no <clears throat> weapons of mass destruction. Right, so the final word that... Israel. <laughs> Israel has been continuing <laughs> killing okay. Palestinians. Yes. Nothing is said about Israel. Only Africans they are interested in. This is what has made Africa feel we need to relook at our participation because it looks like it is just meant for us.